Good morning, friends, and welcome back to The Morning Mindset. This is our opportunity today in the next 24 hours to get our minds aligned with the truth of God. And when I say it that way, I don't mean it's the only opportunity we have, but it's our opportunity right now as we start the day. That's the purpose of The Morning Mindset. I wanted to take a look at another passage that I feel will be an encouragement to us during this crazy time. It is further down in Matthew chapter 9, where it says in verse 35, Jesus went throughout all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues and proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom and healing every disease and every affliction. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion for them because they were harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore, pray earnestly to the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. My friends, I believe this passage that recounts an event or a set of events from Jesus' life when he was living here on the earth is very applicable to the situation that we are living in here in 2020. The corona virus has going all across the globe. People are concerned and rightly so. There is great alarm and things being done to extremes we have never seen happen on a global scale before. And our tendency as human beings is to fear. Our tendency is to turn inward. Our tendency is to become self-protective. And granted, there are many reasons for those things. But look what Jesus says about situations where the mass of people is experiencing hardship or is experiencing some kind of sadness or suffering. He has compassion on them, first of all. So I want us to understand our Savior, Jesus Christ, has compassion in this situation. And of course, he's the sovereign king of the universe, and he is actually over this situation. He could stop it in a heartbeat. But because of his wisdom and his divine plan, he's doing something with this that we don't understand. It's not yet been revealed to us. And so our role as his followers is to be like these disciples that he has turned to here at the end of the passage. And he says, the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore, pray earnestly to the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. You see, during a time like this, the people around us who do not know Jesus are exactly like what this passage says in verse 36. They are harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. First of all, that should not be a sentence that describes us as believers in Christ. We are not harassed by this COVID-19 situation which is the disease that flows from contracting this coronavirus. We should not be helpless, even though a virus like this is something we cannot control. We are subjects and followers, sons and daughters of the one who does. We are not helpless. We are not sheep without a shepherd. We have the greatest shepherd, Jesus Christ, the shepherd of our souls, the scripture says, who is guiding us and leading us and caring for us in this situation. We should be among those who are praying ever so fervently for the Lord to send out laborers into this harvest, and we should be among those laborers. And what does that mean? In a time where we're socially distancing, we're not going out rubbing shoulders with people who need this message. Well, we have all kinds of methods of communication in our day. Just like this podcast, we have opportunities through texting, social media, video, all kinds of things where we can listen, we can comfort, we can bring the truth of Jesus Christ into this situation and into the lives of those who are harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. My friends, though you're pulling inward with social distancing, don't let your heart turn inward. Turn outward, care for the people around you, love them, share the love of Christ, and let's see what Jesus might do in that regard.